Ice tray. Ah! Let me pop out my Johnny Tanks real quick. But yo, yes sir, what is up guys? I'm Harwin and I'm out here to give you guys a deep look of my Coogee collection. Some of the most intricate, extravagant, and colorful articles of clothing that you can get. I'm excited about this, so stay tuned. Bang, 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 let's get it. Damn, ah. <laughs> yo, y'all see that? So this is a size medium. As you can tell, this fits me a little nicer just how I like it I like tight clothing I'm not too big into loose clothing cuz you know I work on these arms for a reason but yo the reason why I love this as well just look at the beauty of the neckline not my jawline the neckline <laughs> but yo this is just super into the details which I love something that is gonna have people stop and break their necks and just look and wonder if they don't have knowledge about coogees they're definitely gonna be on the lookout for extravagant sweater like this also known as Cosby sweater we don't talk about that that much McGregor sweater but also the biggie sweater so Coogee's are one of my favorites in not only my collection but clothing in general just because the extravagance of it so you do have other brands like protege tundra and a few others that try to make or emulate what Kooji has done with their materials but you could just tell when it's a Kooji it's a Kooji based on the tag um, inside you could tell that it's a Kooji based on the thickness of the materials at the end of the day it is just a bunch of yarn wool whatever so wear what you like but I'm big into my Koojis though <laughs> so now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to, to go up there, lift these up. Oh my god. Oh shit. And honestly, y'all, some of these look like they have mad dust on it. I haven't worn some of these in over a year. But, it's time, man. Texture, crazy. Colorways, even more crazy. Got a few patterns here and there. All in all, this one is my style Kooji for sure. Just look at that right there. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Kooji down to the socks like I'm Piggy Papa. Baby. Shout out Ace Effort, but yo. Again, just take this all in. Take this all in right now. Ah, insane. Insane. Look at them. Look at them details. Whew. Those other two that I just showed you guys right there. This material is 100% pure wool. Those other two 100% pure cotton. And as you can tell, right there, these tags say it. So you got the iconic Kooji. So that one's a medium. And this one is a large but yeah so this one is super warm super cozy or if you guys don't know already one of my biggest hobbies in the world is thrifting it's my uh, place my time where it's just me myself the racks and I am just relaxing shopping talking to people and it's something that I love to do on my pastime this was one of my rarer finds ever thrifting um don't get me wrong i found a lot of vintage tees i found a lot of vintage jerseys but finding a coogee was definitely on my list and this is the coogee that i found basic coogee i don't really like the front to be honest but the back is something that i love you got this ultraviolet type purple got some coral peach type colorway some red vibrant red then the thing about this one right here unlike those other Kooji's they're like all in solidarity as random as it is those kind of flow together this one there's just one seam from the neckline all the way to the wrist on both sides you could you could tell they combine two different sweaters into one but it just abruptly goes from this nice vibrant you know coral type colorway to this kind of dull 
front, which I'm not the biggest fan of, so I don't wear this koozie a lot. Every section that you see a thicker thread popping out, it's a new different pattern, new different colorway. As dark as it is compared to like this other koozie that I just showed you guys, this one is dark throughout, which I love. Dark tones, you only get a little bit vibrant red, but the details in this, all the way from the thick wrist brown all the way to the neckline as well but the back you got some flowers you got some nice design right there back we Jesus walks but yo this is one of my most extravagant coogies to date so like I said with the first two jackets it's almost like a combination of both I believe so you have this combination of nice pastel colors, baby blues here and there. Then this one's a more in the darker tone, all set it with the yellows. And this Kuji right here is like a combination of both of those. Cause in the back, you got this nice dark tone vision right there to end the front. It gets split. So again, right here, right here, right along the arm, it gets split into two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how many sweaters, but this is just one of those extravagant type ones. I love this colorway so much. I definitely do believe this is one of the newer school Kujis, only because based on the material, how I feel, based on some of the pictures that I've seen. And the thing I love about Kujis is really hard to find one that's identical with it. I don't, I truly don't believe you will find a Kuji that is the same as one another. As similar as the colors are, the stitching, the threads will always be in a different place as far as comparing to, which is so unique. So the thing about that is you're getting a piece, a one of one, a true piece of artwork. And that's what I think when I'm wearing these, why I collect them and why I've been holding off and showing them off because there's something that I truly appreciate. Right there, got the Rick and Morty type green. Got this insane, then look at this. Goes into the Easter. Then look at the cuff. Right there, neckline. Jeez. Jeez, purples, blues, pastels. This is just one of those things I love. That's what I'm talking about. I show you my last Kuji. I just want to show off this Kuji right here. This is the only Kuji that does not fit me. This is a belly size crop top for me. This is a size small right here. So any ladies or small guys that want to buy this Kuji off of me, this is for sale. So good tag right there. You guys want to legit check that this is the last Kuji I'm gonna show you this is one of my favorites for sure I just love how this fits on me this fits very very snug which I like this is a size medium I believe and I kid you not this is every color in the goddamn rainbow there are some Kuji's I am still looking for so these include the casino Kuji I'm still looking for that one I'm looking for the kangaroo um or animal Kujis, I love those. The fish Kujis, I love those as well. Those Kujis are really, really hard to find. And if I do find them, they're over 300 easy. And I, I'm not trying to pay that. I'll pay around 200 for sure though. So let me know. So on that note, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. And yo, next Thursday, brand new video. Ping, 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 I'm out. Jesus! Pa pa pa! Yes, sir!